So I was out of town for a couple days when the new Ghostbusters finally dropped a trailer on us. And if there is one thing that is very clear right out of the gate, it is that the internet does not approve. I stated a while back that I wish that the Ghostbusters franchise would simply be left alone. It's not going to be, so what we're left with now is the hope that this new generation does a good job of largely staying true to what made the original so great. And honestly, from watching this trailer, I get the impression that very early on they realized that they did not and never would have the approval of the hardcore Ghostbusters fanbase, and because of that are trying to appeal to an entirely new audience. And I feel like it's a major misstep to not even try to find a balance between the best of both worlds, especially since generally the very purpose of bringing back a deeply nostalgic franchise is to try to capitalize on that nostalgia rather than to seemingly actively push it away because if you're handling a franchise that people feel passionately about and you handle it delicately and properly then i think at least some of that rabid fan base will appreciate you for trying to stay true to what made it great to begin with not everyone but some the trailer itself though let me talk a little bit about what i liked and what I didn't like. I loved the music. That ominous kind of piano feel of a throwback to the original Ghostbusters song was great. And I really enjoyed the sort of techno-y EDM remix of it at the end. I think when you're doing a reboot of an older movie, having a callback to the original iconic song is sort of fitting in that regard. Now, that might be the actual song they use with this movie. And again, I'm sort of okay with that because it is a new generation and it's something more fitting for the time. I also thought they did a good job of giving a slight outline of the plot with mentioning that somebody has made a machine amplifying paranormal activity. That sounds alright to me, and it gives us a little bit of an idea of what exactly we're working with plot-wise. Melissa McCarthy, who literally, when news broke that she was cast in this, was my least favorite part of the idea of this entire movie, but she looked alright in this role to me. Kind of a pleasant surprise, if I'm being honest. Also, the proton packs look fantastic really really cool i like what they've done with them here there's even time travel implied here too with this clip where Times square suddenly looks totally retro it's subtle but it's there and if we're getting into the supernatural i'm actually okay with time travel being a part of this in some way we've already seen it in this universe a little bit with the part in ghostbusters 2 where the titanic arrives as for things i didn't like about this trailer this movie looks too colorful, particularly in what looks to be some serious CG overkill. The original Ghostbusters felt rugged. It was fitting to most of the rugged settings of New York where it all took place, and the imagery of the ghosts felt almost believable. Here, it's like every ghost is rocking neon colors at a rave under a black light. Kate McKinnon was one of the things I was most excited for about this movie going in, but every place she's portrayed in the trailer makes it look like they're aiming to go way over the top with her being a weird, off-the-wall, quirky, unpredictable character. And yes, I get that that is part of her comedic ability, but again, what I'm seeing looks like overkill. If her character is meant to sort of mirror that of Peter Venkman as somewhat of a comedic wildcard character, you've got to have that sense of realism too amid the comedic relief. Dressing weird and licking pistols doesn't seem like a good use of somebody as crazy talented as she is. My only hope is that they have big things in store for her character and didn't want to show their cards too early in this trailer. Lastly, while Leslie Jones is an actress that also excites me to see in a bigger role, that last little bit with her character slapping the ghost out of Melissa McCarthy was absolutely horrendous. I thought the rest of Leslie Jones' appearances in this trailer were solid, and if that whole encounter had ended after one slap and seeing the ghost fly away, fine. But dropping a, that's gonna leave a mark, followed with another loud scream and slap was again, total overkill. In the end, my impression is that a couple things might turn out better than I thought they would, but in turn, I'm a bit nervous about some other things that I previously thought would be likely bright spots. When it all boils down, you've got to consider that from the beginning, this movie had zero chance in hell to ever be on the level of the original Ghostbusters movie. Accepting that fact is the first step toward approaching this movie with an open mind that it very well could be enjoyable. But if you keep waiting for it to be of a caliber of that original, that to me is basically the equivalent of not giving this movie a chance at all. 
To each their own, obviously, that's just my thoughts on how to approach this. Strictly speaking from just the trailer, I'm not any more or less excited about this movie, and in the context of a trailer, that's not really a good sign given that its very role is to intrigue and excite you about an upcoming movie. And yes, I do get that a lot of people are upset about the notion of an all-female cast. My issue more so was that I just felt that they chose, in a lot of ways, the wrong female cast for this. I felt there was a handful of other actresses that could have been a lot better in these roles that would have offered a lot more versatility other than somewhat typecast roles of characters like Kristen Wiig and Melissa McCarthy that we so often see. Anyway, I'm sure plenty of people have their own thoughts about all of this, and I'd be eager to hear them, so please feel free to share them in the comments. And if we can even keep it civil down there, that would be pretty awesome. Anyway, that's just my thoughts on this whole trailer. Again, not terribly excited after seeing it. I'm still obviously going to see the movie because I love Ghostbusters, and, and I've, I've put too much thought in this to not have that curiosity put to rest. So I'm eventually going to see it, and I'll obviously offer up my thoughts when that day comes. Uh, but for now, not overwhelmed with excitement, and we'll see what sort of happens in the coming months. But anyway, as always, everybody, uh, if you like the video, hit it with a like button. I'll talk about some Ghostbusters more if you want to subscribe. And, uh, and above all else, thanks so much for watching.